Hi guys, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries here with another mostly vintage jewelry bag haul. Get right to it. Oh, this is very pretty, but I can feel on the back that it's broken. That will go into the craft lot. I'm going to try to keep it separated of the uh, different categories. Save me some time afterwards separating it. This is nicely done. I don't know if that's a trademark or just a... Oh, it looks like um, the swan from Swarovski. Swarovski. Very nice. I'll try to keep them separated. Here is a bead. Looks like it was on a necklace or something. Double bead. Craft lot. That's interesting. I don't know what it is. Agatha. That is Agatha. Hmm. Is that like a ram guy? It's kind of heavy. This I saw out of the bag. You know, I was looking, of course, that's how I pick the bags. I kind of look through because um, we're not supposed to open them. So I don't do that. And I could see this. And I was hoping it was intact. Intact. <laughs> um, very cool. This looks off center a little bit. But really gets me in the mood for fall. This thing's heavy. Uh, it's a pendant and also a pin. It looks like it wanted to have something on here. Excuse my hands. That's not some kind of ailment. I had um, henna. I went to a fair and we had henna. and it's It's going away. It was very pretty though. This is really big and cool. So pretty for fall and winter or whenever. Nice. This is something I don't know. It's got these, which I'm assuming is stick in things. And, hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it's got that. Maybe it was, couldn't have been a necklace, could it? Seems very old. It's missing a lot. Whatever it was, it was pretty cool in its, its day. We have a dragonfly, it looks like. Got stuff missing. I love anything with the little turquoise colored beads. I think it's so pretty. Uh, I think I've had one of these before. It had another side to it. 1776. I don't know if it was matching or it had a mirror on the other side, but I think I have another one of these. This, I think I had a necklace. This is mother of pearl bead. These I have not identified yet. I don't know if it's some kind of seed or something. Cause the necklace I had was chipped and the pieces were coming apart. I don't know if it's a bead or a seed, something, something natural pretty. This is some really pink glass stretchy bracelet. Hearts. There are moon stone, moon glow, not moonstone, moon glow. It's in good shape and it's pretty. 
this bar pin. Nice back to it, but I don't see any signature. I thought maybe that was initials, but it's not. Um, hmm, marcasite look. That's pretty. Oh, this is very... I think that's not supposed to go like that. Oh, it's bent. It's made well, but it doesn't have any name on it. Almost reminds me of um, Lady Liberty Flame. There's another one. That one is just a little bit bent. Not bad. Green bracelet. They feel like glass, but the rest is very light, lightweight. But it's pretty. White beads. Has an older clasp there. Double strand. And I thought it was broken, but it's not. I think I think they're plastic. But they're not lightweight as like a cheap plastic. They're pretty. Who knows if they're a cheap plastic. They're older. This is oh Ed uh, Erwin Pearl. I have a necklace from him. Edwin Pearl. Let's see if I have the other one. But first this. There's one Aurora Borealis right here. I don't know. Is this for a scarf or something? And I'm gonna put that in the beads. Oh, this is missing a little dangly. JJ. Button cover. Kind of Aztec uh, button cover. I found this before. I'll put that there. Maybe we can get a collection of them. This is a, kind of a slide for a necklace. I'm assuming. Another button cover. Another Edwin Pearl. I don't know if this is dirty or if this is worn. Usually pretty good made stuff, but I guess I'll try to clean it and see. Um, if it's still like that, then that's a shame. Uh, Citizen Watch. Earring with some missing stones. It's another one of these. Same kind of guy. Hmm, Agatha. Don't know what that's about yet. Ring. Kind of cruddy. Little dingly balls on a stretchy thing. Wood. Uh, pearl necklace that is broke. Shoot. Oh, it says something. It says sterling. 
still going in the bead lot or craft lot I should say this says CTNY never heard of that CTNY got a lot of wear same earring this is one of those things you put on multiple strands of pearls and it's a beat up kind of pearl and I see another one very beat up craft lot hmm this is made well it's got some wear reminds me of maybe lucky brand or something like that but there's no tag craft I'm not sure how you would wear that doesn't look like it opens okay bracelet A little pin. Close, yeah. It's got some holes in the back so that these sparkle. But I think one is missing. Yeah, it's missing. A bar pin with some pearlies and hearts and I'm not sure if this was something in it or it's just like a honeycomb it says something on there Les Bernard Les Bernard it's heavy very 80s to me, I think. I don't know, what do you think? Another one of these beads. Um, button cover. A bracelet. Kind of like a... Oh, it is a heart. Going in the crafts. Whoa, let's just dump. I see something. Whoa. This is broke, obviously. Shoot. It's got wear on it, but it... talk about pretty. Ooh, love that. So pretty. But it is going in the craft lot. What's this? I love anything with turquoise. Turquoise. This is very lightweight. I don't know what it's made out of. Super duper light. It's got um, tiger's eye and I guess that's simulated turquoise and some aurora borealis beads and Red beads, and that's kind of pretty. Express. I think they made clothing mostly, right? That's pretty, though. That's old, in my opinion. It's got the, you know, spiky thing, so I keep forgetting, but I'm going to say sweater, fur, something like that. This is pretty and it's got all its pearls. Trafari. It's rare I find something with all the pearls. There's always pearls missing, usually. A little pin. Has a lot of wear. Oh, 
coins and uh, maple leaf. Oh. Um, Canadian. Oh, Canadian coins. Where's the year? Oh, 1957. 1957. 1957. Cool, I like the way they're in there. Ooh. A cufflink. Got a lot of wear. I think it goes like this. I'd like to have the other one, even though it's worn, because that's pretty neat. Let's take a look. A tie bar. Oh, a little tangly. Oh, I think something just fell. This is missing some stones and some pearls and the whole pin back. Poison A. That doesn't belong on there, but this is pretty. A ring. Let's see what it says inside. It's 18 karat heavy gold electroplated. Well, I can see some of it worn off, so it's not that heavy, heavily electroplated. What's this? Steel time China. Stainless steel. Hmm. It's pretty. Some pretty colored beads. It's got an older clasp on it. Heavy. Not sure what these are made out of, but this kind of feels like glass. Weird shape, but yeah, it feels like glass. Nice fall colors. One of these pole bracelets. I don't know what that maker is. It's heavy. One of these tangled up. Shoot. No clue how that's supposed to come off. But it's tangled up in one of these woven... Oh, there. Woven pearl necklaces. With no um, clasp, so that's why it's so hard to fight with everything. But let's see. There we go. One of those. This is pretty. Let's see. Just a little stone on there. I don't know what brand it is. But it's newer and it's pretty. It has these enamel discs um, in turquoise color. Ready for the summer. Okay. This thing is Landau. Still trying to figure out how this goes here. I guess it's a, a dangly. Type thing, right? 
to fight with it too long, but this is what it looks like. Different. These hooks. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. It's like that confetti pressed plastic. No name. I like that. This has many strands, which causes many problems. got an older clasp and it's got chain and some of these are coming the color is coming off so I'll put that in the bead lot this is a heavy stretch bracelet very chunky another one of these This one's old. Oh, I sneezed, sorry. Uh, patent number and it's C I E R R E. Pretty design. It's got that old clasp. I believe it's a trombone clasp. I always want to say trumpet, but I think it's trombone. And it's the Damascene style. But I don't know what country that's from. It sounds French, but I'd have to look it up. I know I found another one like that. Oh, here's the other one with the black stones. They do have a lot of wear, but I'm going to put that with the men's stuff. This is magnetic, I think, but yeah. Kind of reminds me of Brighton. I don't know if it goes on this chain like a bead. It's very magnetic, so I don't know, but it's pretty. Love Pendant by India Nepal Inc. It's a love pendant. I guess it's brass. It's heavy. It's like a snake chain. Very worn. Uh... Old J with that old fashioned how they used to make the cuts to make them look like there was a stone in there. Cute. Okay. Let's see. Everything over and there's loose beads. Oh. This Looks like it was part of something else, an earring or something. This is kind of like a yeah, abalone. Pretty blue. Belt buckle. Spain. Looks like a C and a D, maybe. I don't know what that stands for. Little bead earring. A 
called Apple that says Jubilee. This is a glass bead, like an art glass bead. Pretty green. This is glass with like a foil back. Oh, it says something. West Germany. Hmm, oh, surprise. It's just a swirl of yellow glass. Let's see what else. Courting couple. Little courting couple, cute. What is this big thing? Oh, it's a pin, or it was a pin. It's broke. Fishy. Fish pin. I think, oh yeah, it has a little bow eye. It's plastic with some sparkly stuff in it. It's lightweight. Pretty. Some sort of badge or something. Accessions. Accessions. Don't know what that is. It's a castle. Hmm. Need more research on that one. I think these ones like the clamp earring, button earring from try to do it up close. I mean, ah, uh, shoot. Oh, Maravella, that Maravella, a bead. A necklace, a uh, earring with some sort of stone. Here's another one of those glass beads. That earring with a swirly yellow glass. Here's a cool earring. Almost looks like West Germany, but it doesn't say it. Oh, those are fun. They feel cool. I like those. I hope I have the other one. Oh, this is part of that other earring. Here's a big baby pin, but I think it's for a kilt. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Crawford, 20, 21 jewels. Hmm. Kind of neat. Very dirty. Here's a pretty ring. It's the uh, poison ring. Missing some stones. Craft a clamper earring. Oh, it's an earring. Okay, it's just got a different kind of clamp in the back. It's fancier than I'm used to. Stop clamping. Different, right? I wonder if I have the other one. I shall see. Beads. It's a bracelet with a lot of wear. Oh, it's turtles! 
Somebody love those turtles. Another one of these broken ones. Oh, one of my favorite tiger's eye. <gasps> oh, another favorite. Scarab. Me love some scarab. This is Mother of Pearl and some tangles. Looks like amethyst chips. Yep, yep, yep. But this is just a cheap clasp. But it's not bad. Ooh, one of these. I have a few. Yep, Spain. Made in Spain. That's a cool one. Very intricate, intricate, you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I had something hanging and it's missing. Oh, I wonder what was on there. It's got a lot of wear, but I wonder what was hanging on there. Oh, here's a bracelet to go with a necklace. Something old for hair, I assume. Earring, an old button earring. It's got quite a bend to it, bent, and a broke to it. This is like carnelian, a carnelian little stud. I don't think it's amber. It's got carnelian to me. Oh, here's the other one. Pearl. Cute and classic. I don't think I have the other one. Let me see. Yes, I do. I do have it. Another apple. That's a cute one. Almost looks like a ripe pepper, but we'll go with apple. I think it wants to say something. What do you want to say? No idea. Okay. Do you know what that says? J U E. I'm reading it upside down. I'm good. J. U something J U something. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Mm. It's cute though. Like apples. This is broke. This is very worn. This is another apple. Tie bar. Broken earring beads. Oh. This is might be a belt so long. Woo. One second. Um, yeah. There's mm. something in there and I can't tell. what it says. Did they have to make it this small? Seriously? Maybe I could see with my loop. Oh, 
trying. Talk amongst yourselves. I can't see. But I can always do an update. I don't know. I do not know. I can put it to the side and take a look. All right. This looks like a belt to me. Right? With the dangly and stuff. It does look like a belt. It's heavy. And this. See if this has any markings. Sometimes the little ones are gold, but I'm not seeing anything on that. A piece of necklace. USA, Blingy USA, not bad, probably just needs a little bit of cleaning, okay that doesn't belong there, let's see if this is silver, seen anything feels like it oh my goodness I think it's old and it really does say something oh Mexico it's Mexico so maybe it is silver Put that to the side. This is just going in the bead lot because um, I could see it's starting to lose some of its beads. So that's where it's going to go. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad you can join me. Um, I'll be back with another one soon, I promise. And I am going to finally do my savers haul um i just gotta get that together and everything is just sitting here waiting oh i did get um this i picked up this from my favorite antique shop it's carved amethyst cabochon it's got a little dent here i'm not upset about it sterling silver it's carved and it reminds me so much of a scarab which i love I don't know what these stones are. They look like emeralds to me. And it looks like this one might have been replaced because it's round and the rest are square, but could be the design of it. I don't know. I just thought it was really neat. I like unique, different things. And I picked up this. It's sterling silver. It's handmade cameo. A real cameo and it says Italy and uh, 925 and there's also another thing that says that I can't read but if they told me the designer that did the cameo his name is here etched in and I can't make it out but there is something there and it's sterling it's got a big um, bail on it. Not sure why so big, but um, I thought it was really well done. Super cool and pretty. I love the moon. And um, I was really happy with those purchases. So I'll be back. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all your support. Have a great night or day, whichever time you're seeing this. Bye, guys.